Okay, this is my uh, original effect that I want to show you here. Okay, I have a bottle. Okay, I take the bottle cap. I'm just going to set it down like this. I have the spectator uh, hold on to the bottle. I put it in their hand, but I'll just use my hand here. I'm going to take the cap like this. Okay, I'm going to try and push it right into the side of the bottle. Okay, watch. It's like that. It's, going to be. Okay, it's in there. There's no way to get it out. Isn't that amazing? Okay, here's my uh, performance for the uh, cap and bottle. Okay, we're gonna take uh, the cap here. Okay, now watch. All right, I'll show you the bottle's empty. Watch. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna tap it one, two, three. That's right here. As you can see. There. Can't come out. Alright, I wanted to explain my uh, original way of doing the uh, cap and bottle. So, get a little piece of magician's wax, okay, put it on here. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to use a little bottle like this, cheap little water bottle, because these caps are actually bendy, people don't know that. And you want to have a little label here. So, once you put the wax on it like this, you squeeze it inside here, okay? And this is a secret preparation, obviously, okay? So you squeeze it, and when you bend it like this, okay, it'll actually bend in there. You gotta give it a good squeeze like this, okay? See how it pops in there? Now, the wax is on there. Now, I'm gonna take the pen, and I'm going to hide it behind the label like this by sticking. Can't see it there, but I'm pressing really hard there. You don't have to press uh, very hard, but uh, it will actually stay. Now, see how it's in there. You're not going to show it. The wax is hiding it, correct? So this is what the performance will look like, okay? I'm going to stop the video and make the performance, and I'll come back. All right, I'm going to explain my variation of the cap and bottle, guys. I really think there's a strong effect. Uh, so what I've done is I've placed the wax in there and I've taken a pen and I've hidden it behind the I'm pushing it to stick it behind the label okay and it will stay you can't you can see it if I expose it like that up close but the audience is not going to see that but there's a cap hidden in there behind the label okay with the wax on it so you want to be very careful with it now you start off now you can do this standing or seating I'm going to show you two different variations okay and uh, the first is seating, okay? So I'm, I'm going to be laughing. I'm going to show the bottle, okay? As I gesture to show my hands empty, but I don't say, look, my hands are empty, right? I just gesture and I say, this is, check this out. This is really cool. Now, I'm going to set the cap down, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to pick up the bottle, turn it upside down. This, because, you know, nothing's... It's, in a, it's, it's still stuck inside there, but they can't see it. You could put it in their hand if you want. There's different ways, or you can hold on to it. Now, you're going to pretend to pick this up, or you're going to pick this up a couple times. Set it down so that you can explain there's no holes here. They can feel. Now, when you pick it up, you're going to do the old brush move. As you brush back, this is going to be right into your lap, okay? So it's going to be one continuous motion, okay? It will be like this, okay? See, I lapped it. Now if you're not now when you hit it like this, you're going to do two things. You're gonna kinda of shake and hit as you go like this. See? You're, gonna hit. you're gonna kinda of do it quick, but look. Look, look. It's inside there. I mean this is a really I really love this for an impromptu effect. So now when you leave the room, you're going to they can examine it. You can let them have it, but uh, I've got the wax on the thing and I'm gonna in another room, I'm going to take the pen and I'm going to stick it behind the label again so I can show you again, okay? Now, it's it's in there. But see, you can turn it upside down, everything like that. You want to be careful with it so it doesn't fall. Second variation. Now, you can either hold it or you can have them hold on to it, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, you start off, you just screw the cap on just slightly. Now, your hands are shown empty as you're, you're uh, talking and gesturing, you know, instead of saying, look, my hand's empty. Uh, what you're going to do is uh, 
This is the non-lapping version. So you're going to take unscrew the cap, okay? You're going to uh, turn the bottle upside down just by letting it go like this, okay? That's to show nothing's in there because it's completely empty. Actually, you have the cap hidden behind the label, which is really clever. You can have them hold on to it, um, or you can hold on to it. It doesn't matter. Probably you hold on to it because, you know, otherwise you have to do more shaking. But what happens is uh, you're going to, as you hit this here, you're going to palm this in your fingers, okay? So you're going to show this a couple times as you're tapping, as they feel this. Now on the third time, you just palm this right into your hand. So it's done like this, see? You palm it just like a coin, and then as you hit it like this, so it's in my palm, okay? Because you could just hit it, but here's what you want to do. You want to palm it as you come up. They think it's at the fingertips, but it's back, right? Now, as your thumb, when your thumb kind of presses here, that will dislodge the uh, cap in there. See how I dislodged it? But that's done as you hit. See? Now, how do you get rid of this, okay? I'll show you. What you do is, if you're lapping, of course you can lap. If you're not lapping, then what you want to do is just uh, wait a second, wait a pause, as you let them, as you hand it to them, and you don't want to put your hands in your pockets just yet, okay? You want to wait. Your hands are seen empty. Um, and here's what I will do, okay? I will uh, reach for an object. For example, if I have this pen in here, because I'm going to go into a signed card trick, uh, I will have this palm and I'll just drop it in, okay, in my pocket as I pull out the pen. Or you could alternatively move it to thumb palm, which is easier, but either way, one hand goes in, see? with your fingertips in there and uh, you actually just you've gotten rid of it I mean you could just put it in your pocket but I don't like to go to the pocket I mean you want to wait they're examining this as soon as the attention's off of you um, you're going to pull out a deck of cards and get rid of this okay there's a lot of different ways you can ditch it so enjoy that that's my little variation cap and bottle you can actually let them uh, keep this cheap souvenir form. Alright, Darren Martin here. I wanted to talk about the uh, my Surreal Illusion system. Okay, there's many different levels and products that I'm building. You can get uh, the products separately or you can get them uh, all together. Okay, for the beginners, okay, beginner students, I have the beginner level, which is uh, only five dollars a month for access to over a hundred videos, plus every time I add a video uh, you only have to pay the monthly fee, five dollars a month. You might say, well, "Why so? Why so cheap?" Well, I wanted to make this available to everyone because, you know, when I was getting started as a magician, I realized, you know, it's expensive. You know, it costs thousands of dollars. So the beginner level is uh, five dollars a month to access over a hundred videos, and you get uh, constantly new, exclusive uh, content. Now, for the more serious students, I have the uh, Platinum level. The platinum level is uh, ten dollars a month, and you get uh, right now it's uh, two hundred and thirty-one videos, and it's growing every day. And what that is, it's a higher level of training because you're getting the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced. You're getting all of the uh, all of the video tutorials. Uh, there's also uh, articles in there. There's also free eBooks in there. Um, you're getting everything, all of my uh, creations of magic, everything that I'm creating, all of my exclusive original magic is in there. Then I have the gold level, okay? There's a special limited time offer. The gold level is a $97 product, and what you get is you get all 231 videos, and it's a one-time fee. You don't have to pay any more after that. You're purchasing the whole system, okay? Uh, now, with that, you get uh, $60 value. Uh, the $60 bonuses. You get uh, the free Surreolution, uh, the Surreolution t-shirt, which is brand new. You get uh, the two ebooks, which I have, which is the Surreolution System ebook. Now, the ebook is a very powerful ebook. There's a lot of the principles in there. Uh, I've gone through hundreds of the best books in magic to extract out the, the top principles in there, and it's still growing. This is an ever-growing system. This is an ever-growing system, but that is just the beginning of the system, is the book. The Surreolution System ebook is uh, an incredible book. It's also a checklist when you're creating your magic. Um, 
one of my favorite books, Neo Magic Artistry. I've, I quote a lot of that in there. Um, there's a lot of other things, but I've just taken through years of research and development and put it into the Surrealism System ebook. Okay, so you get that. That's a $15 value. Then you also get uh, my first set of lecture notes in there in the ebook form, the Eye Burning Magic of Darren Martineau, which has a lot of my uh, classics, uh, my original classics and some of the first magic that I created in there. But you get all of my creations. Okay, it's $97 for the gold level, and you get the $60 bonuses of the uh, free t-shirt and the two ebooks. So that's the three bonuses.